Uh, good, good afternoon and thank you again for this opportunity to talk about the uh, planning of an implementation science training program uh, at our university, uh, Makere University in Kampala, Uganda. Um, I, I won't go through this background. I, I'll save you all of that. But let me talk about our great institution, uh, Makere University. It's a 90-year-old institution, very old. And a lot of things have been done there, very um, novel research that has happened at Makere. This is like the main building. You know, it was built a long time ago by, by our colonial masters, the British. But it's still a very nice building. <laughs> That's where our vice chancellor sits and, and the university secretary and other people. So anyway, Makere University is the highest uh, ranked university in East Africa. We actually rank quite high in Africa. I forget the position, but, but we rank quite high. The student population is about 40,000. Um, and specifically, Makere University College of Health Sciences, which is one of the colleges of the university, has four schools, you know, medicine, public health, health sciences, and, and, and biomedical sciences and 28 uh, departments which are offering bachelors, masters, and, and some PhD programs. Um, so I, I, you know, somebody asked me that, oh, look here at Makere, you have so many people collaborating with you. Yeah, in fact, we have, we have very many. I think this slide can impress you that we have, we have a lot of, you know, American and, and, and European people working with us, and we've got, some training programs, you know, the AIDS AIDS International Training and Research Programs, the MEPI Thrive, which is funded through the Wellcome Trust. So we've got a lot going on, um, but you know, we thought we needed to build an implementation science capacity at Makere for for many reasons that that we talked about in the morning. And, and why, why, why build an implementation science capacity at Makere? You know, we, we think there's a lot of research going on in Makere, and we've generated a lot of evidence, and we want to make sure that that evidence is translated into routine uh, practice. Um, and, and, and one of the things that we haven't done well, which, which I've also, I'm learning more and more, is that implementation science is, is not only medicine, it's not only, I, I mean, it's, it's really a, an interdisciplinary, it's cross-disciplinary, uh, it's a discipline that cuts across many disciplines. And, and, you know, we need to, we've not done that very well, and we need, you know, to, like, get it together and build a program that cuts across several disciplines. Uh, so that, of course, the aim is, is, is to have a public health impact. So I, I would like to tell you what, what I think are the gaps that we have in building this, this, um, this program. Um, so there are many people that are doing implementation science type of research, but it's not recognized as, as a discipline. And, and certainly the rigor of, of the kind of implementation science research that is going on is, is you know, it's not as rigorous as uh, when we do clinical trials. I mean, we, we still have a long way to learn the methodologies and, and frameworks of, of, you know, doing implementation science so that we can, you know, rely on what data or what results of, of the different studies have that are ongoing. So people have inadequate knowledge and application of implementation science methodologies and frameworks. Um, so the research is going on, but certainly it's not backed up by, by you know, the, the, the methodological rigor that would make the results uh, acceptable or accurate. Um, there is also, like I said before, inadequate collaborations across disciplines. And this is, this is a gap, you know, bringing medicine, you know, together with 
social science so that we can optimize our implementation science research agenda is, is a gap. Um, we have no host department to spearhead this type of research. Um, perhaps we should have one, perhaps not. I, I thought that's, that's a gap. And we have no centralized knowledge management or repository of proven interventions that. So anyway, we th we are, I thought that these are sort of the gaps that we have, you know, to sort of bring together a program, you know, that can have the type of, of science that, has, that was talked about this morning. Um, um, I think I'll, I'll skip this one and go to this one. So what plans do we have uh, to create this implementation science research program? So we were awarded a planning grant to, to be able to, to, to plan for a D43. Uh, we awarded $28,000 so that we can do, do the planning. Um, and so these are the efforts that are ongoing. I mean, what we are doing in the planning phase, we want to assess the existing research and, and training capacity at Makere. We want to, you know, solidify ongoing collaborative research activities. Of course, we've got a strong collaboration between Makere and UCSF, um, but you know, we want to make sure that you know, we, we solidify that around implementation science. Uh, we also want to, uh, to define what pool of potential candidates could be recruited for this uh, training program. We want to be sure we know who do we train. Should this be, you know, Ministry of Health people? Should they be implementers, HIV program implementers? Are they going to be, you know, people doing their masters in, in different disciplines? So we want to be able to, to define that. And, uh, and we also want to develop a training curriculum. Um, um, so so what, what questions do I have for you? You can see I'm going to finish very quickly. So, um, well, I, I'm not sure that these questions are going to be answered just now, but, but of course I, we shall be asking them to, to different people. What's the appropriate curriculum for a resource-limited setting? Should it be different from that of, of, of the Western world? You know, should the focus be general or should it be specific? You know, uh, there are questions around, do you train a few people uh, at UCSF or train more people back at home? Do you give degrees of one year? Do you give short-term trainings? Do you give workshops? I mean, in other words, what, what would be the appropriate mix of, 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 of trainings that will lead to, you know, to an impact on, uh, at our university? And of course, what are the appropriate methodologies and frameworks for, like I mentioned before. So anyway, we, we um, uh, in summary, you know, we are planning an implementation science program at Makerere. And we certainly will need support from, from UCSF. Of course, we already have a lot of support. I didn't put other people here, Edwin and others. We have support from the ministry and, and, and our strong collaboration between Makere and UCSF. But, um, you know, we need uh, everyone's help. I've met some people. I've just met John. I've met Margaret. I've met many people to sort of like assist with development of, of this very, very important uh, training activity uh, back at Makere. So thank you very much. I don't think I should go on and on, but uh, at least I've told you what, what we are planning to do, and we are looking for your support in whichever way you can. Thank you. Thank you.